With its sparkling clean, broad and well-maintained pedestrian walkways, Tokyo is the urban adventurer's ultimate dream. Embark on an incredible journey as you explore the bustling streets of Tokyo on foot. As you wander through the energetic city, you'll be completely immersed in a vibrant mix of modern and traditional Japanese culture. As a wanderer, you experience the charm of Tokyo's neighborhood up close, observing the intricate details of everyday life along the way. Strolling along narrow alleys, you discover hidden eateries, quaint shops, and historical shrines tucked away behind the glittering skyscraper. Each vibrant district will leave you in awe and craving more exploration. From the famous scramble crossings, another one is Shibuya, to the extensive network of elevated walkways spanning over busy roads, Tokyo has masterfully prioritized pedestrian needs. What's more, the city walkway showcases a harmonious blend of modern architecture and traditional Japanese aesthetics. So lace up your sneakers and get ready to explore Tokyo's own food. You will not only discover new pathways, but also a unique and thrilling way to experience the heart of Japan's capital. Enjoy the journey and let every step take you closer to the soul of this incredible city. And then there are the trains, your reliable chariots through the cityscape. Navigating Tokyo's extensive public transport system is an adventure in itself. Prepare to be amazed by the efficiency and punctuality of the Tokyo Metro and JR lines. Tokyo's robust public transport system ensures you cover a lot of ground without missing any of the iconic sites. Efficiently hop from one neighborhood to another by hopping onto a train and getting a unique glimpse of the city from the tracks above. Tokyo offers a vast network of public transport, making it easy for you to traverse across the city. Embrace the flow and pulse of the city as you observe the daily routines and commutes of the locals who are known for their courtesy and orderliness even amidst the hustle and bustle of their daily lives. Tokyo is a food lover's paradise. The city's culinary scene is an exquisite blend of flavours, textures and culture that offers an incredible gastronomic experience. From humble street food vendors to the extravagant Michelin-style establishments, each bite is a celebration of Tokyo's rich food culture. Tourists and locals alike are spoiled for choice when exploring the diverse cuisine of Tokyo. The city's eatery takes pride in showcasing the finest ingredients in their dishes, resulting in authentic, mouth-watering flavours. Setting foot in Tokyo's lively district, such as Shinjuku, Shibuya, and Asakusa, introduces visitors to an utterly unforgettable gastronomic journey. But the food culture extends beyond the food itself, encompassing the private markets, time-owned cooking techniques, and the warm hospitality of the people. This fusion of taste and experience makes Tokyo an unmatched destination for food enthusiasts across the globe. Asakusa a district in Tokyo, Japan, beckons travellers with its rich tapestry of history and contemporary culture. Nested on the banks of the Sumida River, this neighbourhood is renowned for the iconic Sensoji Temple, a beacon of ancient tradition amid the bustling city. Visitors are captivated by the vibrant atmosphere, with the scent of incense and the sounds of traditional festivals filling the air. The area offers a delightful juxtaposition of the old and the new, while the imposing red lantern of the Kaminari Mon Gate welcomes guests to a bygone era, the nearby streets boast modern attractions and amenities. Shops selling handcrafted souvenirs, local snacks and artisanal goods adding to the immersive historical experience. Hi guys, so today is um, 6th of January. It's, we're still in the first week of the new year. And I believe with the Japanese, the custom is to pray for good luck and to ward off evil during the first week of the new year. You know, like good beginning, right? Good start. So the first seven days of the new year is very important to them. And that may be why that so many of them are here at the temple to pray for good luck and to obtain their fortune reading for the year. So we like to take this opportunity to wish all of you guys a very happy new year. Immersing yourself in the tranquil ambience of a traditional Japanese tea ceremony at Maikoya, Tokyo offers an authentic glimpse into Japanese culture. 
You step into a world where every movement and details is charged with centuries of traditions and meticulous care. The ritual of preparing and serving matcha, or powdered green tea, is an art form here, wrapped in a history that dates back to the 9th century. Here, the cultural significance of the tea ceremony, known as Chanoyu, unfolds before you, a practice deep-rooted in Zen Buddhism and a principle of harmony, respect, purity and tranquility. The spring begins with your own transformation as you don a traditional kimono. The kimono dressing is itself an art. As you take part in the tea ceremony, the focus shifts to the vibrant matcha. The rich, frothy green tea asserts a presence that engages taste, sight and smell. Accompanying the tea are the exquisite Japanese sweet, awagashi, that not only complements the tea's flavour, but also delight your sense of sight with its intricate design inspired by nature and the changing seasons. Discovering the heart of Japan is an enthralling experience where each aspect of the tea ceremony, from the folds of the kimono to the taste of matcha, is a thread in the rich tapestry of Japanese culture. Hi guys, we just finished off the uh, traditional kimono tea ceremony at Maikoya Asakusa. Right guys, uh, yep, behind me you can see this is a place where you can have traditional tea ceremony in kimono. Right guys, so it's quite an eventful kind of a tea ceremony because uh, we learned a lot about how the Japanese, uh, the monk actually started off drinking matcha, right? Well, it takes a lot of effort. You need to boil the water to the right temperature and then they put a matcha powder and then they have this swirl thing you can get swirl in a bowl and then you must make sure that uh, you know you swirl in such a way there are a lot of uh, bubbles right I guess the reason of having a bubble is to oxygenate the, uh, the tea and then you break the bubble and then you kind of like turn it again turn the bowl anti-clockwise and close the final thing is to drink the tea now the last tea the remaining tea in the bowl or the cup you need to slurp it why because it show complements the host right guys that the tea is really good you finish up all the last drop right guys so yeah before the tea ceremony start we have to meditate right they call it the Zen foundation there are four things they have harmony they have respect purity and tranquility right so it kind of set the mind free before you enjoy the tea because uh, during a traditional tea ceremony, they're not supposed to talk, right? So it's just supposed to respect each other, right? Even the samurai during the time comes in, they have to leave the sword outside, right? Respect, there's no what we call hierarchy in the tea room. So it's a place whereby everybody gets together, spirit, soul and mind, and then enjoy tea, right? So next time, guys, when I hear Asakusa, come over to Maikoya Kimono Tea Ceremony and try it ourselves. Tokyo offers a captivating blend of traditional and modern experiences with the Sumida River Walk presenting an extraordinary opportunity to savour both. Starting from the historic district of Asakusa, you can embark on a scenic stroll along the Sumida River. The river itself has long been intertwined with the life of the city, once bustling with merchant boats and now offering serene promenades and parks along its banks ideal for leisurely walks. The air is filled with the energy of Tokyo as boats glide peacefully by. We are taking this walk on this uh, very cool night here with my wife. It's a very romantic walk. This bridge actually is attached to this uh, bridge up here which is made of steel uh, for the train to cross. We can hear the train right now. Up there you can see the train crossing over right, to uh, Asakusa Old Town. Right? So, you can feel the vibration. This bridge is on wooden plank, right? So not so sturdy for train, but for pedestrian, it's all right. So now you can see it's all lighted up. It's so nice, right? Right now, not much to do. Another 20 minute walk to the uh, Tokyo Sky Tree, right, guys? Let's go. We thought we uh, stop over for a coffee break before we uh, get to the Tokyo Sky. Tree, it's right underneath the uh, railway track, and uh, as you walk in, the, you can see people are doing rock climbing. And they are selling some uh, dirt bike and that kind of things. It's called latest. So yeah, next time uh, you guys uh, decided to walk towards the uh, Tokyo Sky Tree, 
to drop by this place. This walk culminates at the Tokyo Sky Tree, an engineering marvel that pierces the sky at an impressive height of 634 meters. Its futuristic design standing as a beacon of Tokyo's skyline. Behind me, you can see, is the Tokyo Sky Tree. This tower stands at 634 meters. There's a meaning to it. Why is 634? Six means mu in Japanese, three means sa, four means shi. Musashi. Musashi used to be a town where the old town name is, where this uh, Tokyo Sky Tree is sitting on right now today. Tokyo Sky Tree consists of a shopping mall and also a solar furua park. All right, guys, and also a what they call an aquarium. Yeah? You can see Sumida Aquarium. All right. So next time you guys are in Sumida, check out the Tokyo Sky Tree. This gentle walk between two of Tokyo's icons serves as a vivid reminder of the city's dynamic character, seamlessly blending history and progress under the vast expanse of the Japanese sky. Perched atop the bustling district of Shibuya in Tokyo, the Shibuya Sky Observation Deck offers an unparalleled view of one of Japan's most vibrant cities. The open-air platform soars 229 meters above the streets, providing a 360-degree panorama that captures the heart of the city's endless energy and the beauty of the urban tapestry below. Hi guys, good morning. We are at this uh, Shibuya Sky. All right, it's uh, situated on a 46th story, standing at 229 meters. All right, guys, uh, you can find this Shibuya Sky over at this uh, Shibuya Scramble Square. All right, guys, uh, right now we are up here. Check out the uh, 360 panoramic view of Shibuya Town and beyond, right, guys? Today, it's not so windy about 10 degrees celsius next time when you come up here remember no beanie all right no microphone anything that can be blown away by the wind you have to put in a locker on the 45 floor all right all you need to do is to put 100 yen you can lock it and it comes with a key that you can actually unlock it guys all right our locker number is number 24. so without much ado let's walk the shibuya sky and check out the majestic panoramic view of Shibuya town and beyond. Hi right, guys, let's go. The spring is more than just a feast for the eyes. Whether visiting by day to catch the sprawling cityscape under the sun's gentle glow, or by night to witness the luminous sprawl of the city lights, Shibuya skies offer a unique opportunity to connect with the essence of Japan's metropolitan marvel. Sky Gallery holds a variety of restaurants, offering delicious meals paired with stunning views. For a lighter fare, visitors can enjoy drinks and snacks while perusing the eclectic mix of items in the souvenir shops. Both dining and shopping experiences are elevated by the backdrop of Tokyo's sweeping skyline. Animals Cafe in Tokyo offer a unique experience where you can sip your favourite beverages in the company of furry or feathered friends. From cuddly cats to charismatic hours, these team venues provide a sanctuary for both animals and humans alike. Tokyo has long been at the forefront of these exciting ventures, giving rise to a new way to enjoy cafe culture. When you visit Tokyo's animal cafes, you'll find yourself immersed in a heartwarming atmosphere that transcends the traditional cafe environment. Each establishment has its own set of resident animals, often including those rescue pets which adds a dose of goodwill to every visit. Imagine the bustles of vendors calling out, the fresh scents of the sea mingling with the aroma of street food, and rows upon rows of the freshest seafood you can lay eyes on. This is what awaits at Tsukiji Market, a must-visit destination in Tokyo. Welcome to Tsukiji Market. This market was built in 1935. Right, it was to replace the first old market here, which was destroyed in 1923 by the great Kanto earthquake. Right, guys, so uh, this is the uh, outer market. As you can see, there's a lot of shops here, about 400 wood shops selling all sorts of things. We have uh, live seafood. Guys, check out the live seafood here. Right, we have mussels, we have uh, abalone, lobsters, you know, big clams and things like that. So, uh, yep, check out the uh, taco, the, what they call uh, season uh, octopus really a lot of shops here so uh if you guys are into eating you know 
like sushi, sashimi, come here because you know why? The fish come fresh from Toyosu market just down the road. The wholesale market with really fresh seafood, right? Incidentally, if you guys are interested to uh, check out this uh, tuna auction, you can check out the Toyosu market, right guys? So back to this market here, you can see we walk down the streets, uh, lots of eatery. Every one of the shop is jam-packed with people. And one more thing guys, uh, if you're here, you try to eat something, right? Don't stand in the queue. Go right in the front and put your name in the waiting list first because uh, that's how it works here, right guys? Uh, yep, you can see from left and right, lots of people, lots of eating places. It's, uh, you know, things that are souvenirs. Uh, they also sell Japanese cakes, Japanese candies, right? So guys, uh, yep, this is a place you want to be when you come to Tokyo. Check it out, Tsukiji Market, right guys? As you wave through the crowded lanes of Tsukiji, your senses are treated to a spectacles of colours and activities. You encountered everything from glistening tuna to delectable sushi to the famous tamagoyaki, a Japanese omelette. This isn't just a market, it's a food lover's paradise. Your taste buds are sure to be delighted. From edible treats to culinary tools, Tsukiji Market is a treasure trove for unique finds.